when the designer designs the part, they don't always consider how it's going to be uh, made. In, in fact, they almost never consider down to the detail level of what orientation is it going to be held in the machine tool when the cuts are happening. But as the, as the manufacturing engineers, as the, uh, as the machinists, as the programmers, when, when we get a part that's been designed, the first thing we have to do is, is, is actually figure out what stock material does it fit in how are we going to hold that stock material? How are we going to fixture that stock material? Then we can start thinking about what tooling are we going to use and what operations are we going to use. Um, and so, uh, so our, our finished part here is this Y block. And um, our stock material is this piece here. And so the first thing I want to do is say, well, does my Y block fit in my stock material? And so at least I see that it does fit in the stock material. Then I've got to think about what operations am I going to use to, uh, to cut it and how am I going to hold on to it when I'm doing it. And, and so what we're doing here in this exercise is we're actually going to hold the stock material in a vise with the end of the stock sticking out from the edge of the vise. And we're going to make a contour along this edge to make this feature. So our end mill will come in and we'll make a contour on that edge to make that feature first. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hold it in this orientation. So this would be our block with the... With the uh, with the little V cut in it, we'll hold it with that V facing up and we'll go around it with our end mill to make these contours and we'll do drilling and tapping operations here. And then in our final operation, we'll actually hold it with the other side up. And so remember our stock material will be back here like this. So we've got to take the stock material shape and turn it into the shape. But back to this first operation. I want to hold it in the vise with enough of it sticking out of the vise so that I can make this contouring operation here. And so if I look at it on my, uh, in my picture here, I've got my Y block that I've drawn in here. I've got my stock material that I've drawn in here. When I put it in the machine tool, I want my vise jaws to clamp it like this. And so that's the back of the vise. This is the front of the vise. Here's the bed of the vise. And down here, we've got our handle so we can tighten the vise down. So the vise is going to clamp it like this. The tool is going to, uh, to come down over here, come across, dip in, come out, come back over here, come up, come over, come back down, come in, go down, come out, and maybe we'll do like three passes. To, uh, to get the finished shape there. And so that's the operation that I'm envisioning. In, uh, in a spree here, we can see that the orientation is lined up with, uh, with this face aligned along the y-axis. Now there's two things I could do. I could take my vise out of the machine and I could turn it 90 degrees so that I could just use this orientation or I could take my part in a spree and turn it 90 degrees so that I don't have to pick up the big heavy vise. And so what we choose to do here is we choose to actually pick up the, the part in a spree and rotate it 90 degrees. And then actually I'm going to shift it down so that when I put my workpiece in the vise, the Z0 can be the top of the workpiece. That makes it just easier to set up for me. Um, so a very quick way to do this, we'll want to, let's see. We we'll want to select this face of the part, so I need to turn on sub elements, sub elements and highlight turned on. I want to select this face of the part. All right, so I've got that face selected. I'm going to go to Edit, Orient Part, and I'm going to click Edit Orient Part, and I'm going to click Align mm -hmm. X. And what it's going to do is it's going to rotate the part. Now I wanted to hang it out of this end of the vise. What it rotated there would be able to hang it out of this end of the vise. So there's two things I can do. I could select the part here, select the whole part. Let's turn off sub elements, select the part, copy, select the part, copy. I can rotate, I can move 180. And I want to make sure that I don't have, actually use origin for rotation axis will work. It'll rotate it right around that axis. The other thing I could do is if I know that it's going to flip the part this way when I align with the X axis, I can select my face back in the original spot here. I can select my face. 
I can go edit, orient part. I can hold down the shift key when I say align X. And that will flip it in the direction I want it to be flipped. The, uh, the next thing we wanted to do though is we wanted the Z axis zero to be aligned with this top surface here. And so I can select this face or this face. It doesn't matter which one you use. I can go to edit, orient part, align Z. So either of those functions will allow you to rotate the part, align it, shift it down. And now our, our work zero is on this end of the part. Our uh, contours can get cut on the other end of the part.